Hello everyone, Mike with Newfound Past here. I've had at least a couple people ask how I ship my coffee mugs. So I was just going to do a quick couple minute tutorial of how I ship my coffee mugs. I have, as of this point, cross my fingers, never had a broken coffee mug. So this is pretty good. The good thing is that we're going to use priority mailboxes. The bad thing is that I've never found a coffee mug that goes first class, so we have to use priority mailboxes. So the first thing I do is I get a length of bubble wrap, about you know 18, 20 inches or so. This is the coffee mug that sold. This actually did sell today, a Derby City, Louisville, Kentucky coffee mug. It'll be in our sold video sometime, but I'll take this and I'll just wrap it up. So I'll go ahead and get my tape dispenser here. This is the most dangerous tape dispenser in the world. It is very, very sharp. It has given me stitches once in my pinky. I doubt you'll be able to see the scar. Let's see. Yeah, got four inches, four stitches right there in my pinky. Right there. <laughs> but anyway, not the first time, probably won't be the last, but I just, tape it right there and then I'll the top where the top of the mug is I'll squish the, the bubble wrap down in there and give a little bit of tape over that and fold over the bottom give a little tape there and that's one part and set this aside our box this is the the outside diameter the 7.25 by 7.25 by six and a half priority mailbox internal dimensions are 776 so this is the one I use every time I've yet to found a regular height coffee mug that wouldn't fit in this so I'm break the, the seals here until I've did this a few times so get a little tape a little tape I would really like one day to have a gum tape dispenser, like one of those big mounted ones. That's what I'm working with for now. Like I said, it's a good tape dispenser, it's just a little bit dangerous. Okay, we got our one side of our box made up. Next thing we're going to do is grab a sheet of paper, just a regular packing paper, and I'll fold it to where it's about like this. It doesn't have to be neat or fancy because we're just going to use this to line the box. What I'm going to do is like create a little nest down in the box. So we put our mug down in there and it's all snugged away down in the box. So the next thing we'll take our other sheet of paper. Sorry if that's loud, I'm wrapping it right next to me. But uh, yeah, just snug it all around the mug give a snug fit we'll get a cinch our box up tape it up it's probably pretty loud and that's it you shake it what you want to do is shake it and there's no lot of movement or anything basically I want to be able to pitch this on the floor and not worry about it I can't I'm gonna pitch it on the floor but you know Pitch it over there, and I'm not worried about it because it's not going to break. It's bubble wrapped, it's taped, it's papered. Like I said, never had one broke. But anyway, if I uh, have any questions about that, just let me know. And uh, it is, I'm doing this on Saturday. We hit a few garage sales today. Tomorrow, we're going to do our major thrifting. So we'll see you on Tuesday for the haul video. Thanks, guys.